everyone! Today we're making chicken fajitas. Instead of making a big mess on the stove and cooking the chicken in one pan and the peppers and onions in another pan, I'm going to show you a simpler way to do it. You guessed it, it's all in one pan! Ole! Chef Steph. In a large bowl, add two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of salt and pepper, and two tablespoons of lime juice. Mix together and then set aside. I have about a pound of chicken breast here and I'm just gonna slice each one into thin strips. Add your chicken to the marinade. Make sure each piece is well coated. While the chicken marinates, we'll cut up the vegetables. Slice half of a yellow onion. Add the onion to the chicken, but don't stir it. Now cut the pepper into thin slices. Again, add to your bowl, but don't stir. Now you can give it a quick mix. Take out a baking sheet, preferably one that has a lip, and line it with foil. And add your chicken, peppers, and onions. Spread the chicken out so it's evenly across your pan. Place in a 400 degree oven until the chicken is cooked all the way through, about 15 to 20 minutes. While that's cooking, I know most people love sauces on their Mexican food, but instead of breaking out the rather unhealthy sour cream, let's make a much healthier avocado puree instead. To a blender, add one avocado, a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of lime juice, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Blend to make a nice puree. A minute before your chicken is done, toss some wraps on a baking sheet and put on the bottom rack of your oven. The chicken just came out and it smells so good, so let's build our fajita. First, add some of your avocado puree. To scoop out the chicken, I'm gonna use a spatula that has slots so that the chicken juice doesn't make my wrap soggy. is your beautiful fajita. Pretty easy, right? If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to subscribe. And after you've finished eating your delicious fajitas, why don't you go check out my friend Larry's channel over at the Wolf Pit. He's so smart, I always learn things from him and I love his recipes. I really think you're gonna like his channel. So check that out, we'll see you guys on Thursday for another Sweet Tooth Thursday episode. And as always, keep it classy. Thank you so much.